The Beaufort wind scale was devised by British Rear Admiral Sir Francis Beaufort in 1805 based upon observations of the effects of the wind. Beaufort numbers, B, are determined by the equation B equal to 1.69, square root of S plus 4.45 minus 3.49, where S is the speed of the wind in miles per hour, and B is rounded to the nearest integer from 0 to 12. Okay, so there are actually three different problems in this, uh, in this problem here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through one at a time. Uh, so the first question is, using the table above, classify the force of wind at a speed of 30 miles per hour. Okay, so to do that, we're going to take the Beaufort wind speed function, which is 1.69 square root S plus 4.45, minus 3.49 I believe that is it let me see here yes it is okay so the first question here is to solve for the Beaufort number when there is a wind speed of 30 so let's do that this is going to be B of 30 and that's going to be 1.69 square root of 30 plus 4.45 minus 3.49 and this will give us roughly something. So let's punch this into the calculator. So clear. 1.69 square root of 30 plus 4.45 minus 3.49. 6.4. So we're going to have a Beaufort number of 6.4. And a Beaufort number of 6.4 is going to be steady breeze. So B is equal to 6 because we have to round to the nearest integer, right? So therefore, uh, B equal to 6. So a speed of 30 MPH is a steady breeze. So that's the answer to the first question. The second question is, uh, a strong a strong hurricane received a B value of exactly 15. Algebraically determine the value of S so to determine the value of S to the nearest mile per hour. Okay. So here, the second question, we're given the B value, which is 15, and we're asked to solve for the wind speed. So I replace B with 15, and we have to isolate S. So to do that, we're going to add 3.49 to both sides. So we get 18.49 is equal to 1.69 square root of s plus 4.45. We're going to divide both sides by 1.69, and if we do, we'll end up with s plus 4.45, square root of that is equal to 18.49 over 1.69. Let's square both sides. So if we square both sides, we'll end up with s plus 4.45 is equal to 18.49 over 1.69 quantity squared. Let's subtract both sides by 4.45. And if we do, we'll end up with 18.49 over 1.69 squared minus 4.45. This will give us a value of S, or this wind speed. Let's take a look. So 18.49. Whoops. 18.49 divided by, uh, I forget already, 1.69 squared, and then minus 4.45. That's 115.25, or because they want us to round to the nearest mile per hour, it's 115 miles per hour. All right, the next part. Uh, any B values that round to 10 receive a Beaufort number of 10. Using technology, find an approximate range of wind speeds to the nearest mile per hour associated with a Beaufort number of 10. 
Okay, so what we're going to need to do, so a Beaufort number equaling to 9.5 to 10.49 will be equivalent to be equal to 10. So we're, in other words, we're looking for wind speeds with Beaufort numbers ranging from 9.5 to 10.49. So to do this, we're going to, let's graph, because the question says to use technology, let's graph uh, B of S and uh, B equal to 9.5 comma B equals to 10.49 then locate their intersections. So let's do that. I'm going to go to my graphing calculator and we'll press Y equals and this should say 9.5 so I've entered in the equation already into y1 and I've entered into the equation in y2 9.5 and uh, into y3 10.49 and I'm going to start graphing this um, actually before I press graph let's just think about uh, the the window setting here and let me just articulate why okay the um, so our Beaufort numbers uh, are the Y coordinates for S. So B ranges from 0 to 12 in this case. So I want to say 0 to 15. Because I want to see the entire Beaufort scale. Okay? And the um, and the wind speed, which is our S, right, will go from 0 to well for hurricane speeds it's 115. I'm gonna go just a little more. I want to go to 150 miles per hour. So this is going to be my Y min and max, and this is going to be my X min and max. So I want to go back to the calculator, uh, and again, just articulating why I want to change the window to this uh, is because I want to see the entire Beaufort uh, wind scale function. In, uh, in one window. So I want to go over here now. I type in 0 to 150 and as my wind speed and my Y's, which is my Beaufort number, I'm going to go from 0 to 15. And I'm going to press graph. So that curve there, okay, is the Beaufort scale curve. And then the two horizontal lines that you see there are uh, is the Beaufort number ranging from 9.5 to 10.49. I'm going to zoom in now by closing in on the Beaufort numbers. Uh, so my Y min, I want to make it 9. And my Y max, I want to make that 11. Okay, and then I'm going to press graph again. So there I can see the intersections a little more clearly now. So I'm going to press second, trace. I want to go to intersect, which is option five. I will move my cursor down to where I believe the intersection happens and press enter three times. One, two, three. So I have 54.6. So it's roughly 55 miles per hour. So for B equal to 9.5, S is equal to 55 miles per hour. For B e equals to uh, 10.49, I'm going to figure that out right now. I'm going to go back over here. We're going to do it again. We're going to press second trace. Go to option 5. And notice, uh, and I want to move the cursor to where I believe the intersection happens. Press once. And then... Notice at the top of the screen, it says y2 is equal to 9.5. I don't want to find the intersection between 
uh, the Beaufort num uh, the Beaufort function and 9.5. I want it to find um, the intersection at 10.49. So I'm going to press up arrow. Okay, so now it says Y3 is 10.49. I want to press enter again. And one more time. So the uh, wind speed is going to be rounded to roughly 64. So for a Beaufort number of 10.49, it's going to be roughly 64 miles per hour. So a Beaufort, a B, is, uh, a B equal to 10, will have speeds, wind speeds, of 55 to 64 miles per hour. And here is everything in its entirety again.